I have the latest version of Android 14 beta installed on my Google Pixel 7 Pro here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get visual alerts of your notifications with the new camera flash and screen flash features. If you are new to Android, then you may not be aware that devices used to ship with a dedicated LED light. These small dots were used to let you know if a new notification had just arrived. Many of them were built into the bezel of the display and sat right next to the camera. Over time, the bezels of our smartphones and tablets have shrunk and because of that, most smartphone OEMs no longer include the feature on their device. The last phone that I've owned that still had this LED light was the Poco F2 Pro, and that was launched back in 2020. Some companies are still including one in a select number of devices, but for the most part, they have decided to leave out this piece of hardware. With the launch of Android 14, Google has decided to include a feature that attempts to replicate this using the remaining hardware in our smartphones and tablets. And it's buried within the accessibility menu of the settings application as well, but I can show you how that works today. So to start off, we need to open up the settings app. Then we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we can tap on the accessibility menu. Now from here, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see the flash notifications option. So by default, these should be turned off, but we can quickly turn them on with a simple tap. The first of these Android 14 flash notifications uses the camera. And by enabling the camera flash toggle here, we can then do a test that shows how this works. You can see the rear camera flash turning on and off. And this is what will happen when you receive a notification while this feature is turned on. There's also the Android 14 screen flash feature here. Again, this is going to be disabled by default, but after we turn it on, we can test again to see how this works. We can even change the color used so that our large display flashes a color that we prefer whenever we get a notification. We can do that by tapping on the screen flash name and then changing the color from here. These features will still continue to work even if the display is off. So you can expect it to function the same as the LED notification lights that we have used in Android devices in the past. Personally, I feel that using the camera LED flash is a bit too much for me. I would like to see Google add the ability to adjust the LED light strength when using a feature like this. However, the screen flash option is really nice and it has been useful for me since I prefer to not use the always on display. And for those of you who have a device that will not be getting updated to Android 14, or for those who need to wait a long time before getting the update, I recommend that you check out a video I uploaded back in April of this year. In it, I show you how to replicate 
the screen flash feature on Android 13 and earlier. So you can still set up a feature like this even if you don't plan on getting the latest version of Android anytime soon. And I'll be sure to link to that guide down in the video description below. I would also like to hear what you all think about the removal of the notification LEDs on smartphones these days. I'm curious to hear if this is a feature that many people have missed these last few years, or if it's something that most of you disabled or never used to begin with.